Hey everybody, welcome back to Review the Nerds. I'm Vincent. And I'm Mike. And today we're going to be discussing the Comic-Con trailer release of Wonder Woman. Oh yeah. We did a trailer review for uh, Justice League, so if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. We'll leave a link. Uh, but right on to Wonder Woman. So, just a quick recap. When it was first announced that Gal Gadot was going to be Wonder Woman, there was a lot of backlash. Then we got to see her in Batman vs. Superman, and despite that movie's problems, for the short time Gal Gadot got in that film, she was impressive. I gotta give it to her. For a little time, she did make me go, okay, all right, you've got a lot of promise as this character. I can see it. You've only given me a little, but I can see it. And in this trailer, it furthers that face that I'm starting to build with her as being Wonder Woman. This movie is, of course, Wonder Woman's origin story. It's a partially coming to the age tale, partially a war film, partially a drama. With And I hope this trailer rings true to what the movie's gonna be. We see her kick some serious ass in this trailer. They're the action things that look great. She's using everything. She's using her sword. She's using her shield. She's using her, you know, lasso of truce to just whip motherfuckers around. She's using everything she's got. She's even stopping bullets with her shins. Cool to me. I don't know. It looks really good. Chris Pine, of course, is, ma is making his debut in the DCEU here as Wonder Woman's love interest. And it just seems like this could be a real, like, character-driven story about the two of them based on what we see in this trailer. Mike, what do you got? Uh, yeah, I, I am sorry to say that we were one of the doubters for Gal Gadot. That's something that is kind of, aside from Jesse Eisenberg, he's somebody that everyone doubted and turned out to be for a good reason. Uh, everyone else, though, that we've doubted, we've been proven wrong about, so I feel kind of bad about that. We doubted Ben Affleck, we doubt Gal Gadot, we doubted Ezra Miller, and these are all actors that are slowly starting to prove their worth uh, in the as these characters, and not as actors because they're all fantastic oh, actors. Yeah, they all but, have credits to an end. But as these characters, uh, you know, they weren't. I guess they just weren't what we pictured. You know, they weren't leaping from the pages of the comics in our minds necessarily. But they're finding ways of making these characters their own, and I think that uh, Gal Gadot's continued that um, forward. Uh, yeah, she is someone that I'm on board with. Uh, you know, she may not be as muscular as I had pictured one woman being, but she really captures that strength in her presence. Um, there's a wisdom in her eyes that goes, you know, far beyond her years. And uh, it looks like uh, she's carrying the movie. Uh, it's a slightly more uh, naive looking um, version of her character because it's much, you know, much sooner. It's, it's much more in the past from Batman vs. Superman. I like that we're seeing an earlier version of her that maybe needs to learn some lessons, life lessons first. Yeah. There's a lot happening in this trailer, and I think that's the one thing I'm a little concerned about. I'm, a, I'm you're seeing a lot of stuff happening. You're seeing everything from Sinascara to like World War II battle sequences. It just looks like there's a lot of uh, location changes, a lot of things happening. I'm wondering what the unifying narrative is going to be to connect all these pieces together, and I'm hoping it's not going to be as jumpy as X-Men's Origins Wolverine, because all the jumping all the around, movies to bring up. Well, the only reason I bring that up because I remember the one thing about that trailer, and I love that trailer, by the way, but the one thing about it... The good fucking trailer. It's better in the movie. But the one thing about it that stands out was that it was covering um, a lot of years in Wolverine's life, and there was a lot of jumping, you know, through time, through through locations, you know, through the Civil War, through World War II, through his time with the Weapon X program, to, you know, his brother uh, Sabretooth and their battles. This has a similar kind of look to it to me, just in that we're leaping around a lot. And as long... That's the thing that Origins totally screwed up on. There was not a narrative that tied those things together in a satisfying way. As long as they find a way to satisfyingly tie all this together, great. Um, so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, everything from the DC right now that's coming out, I'm going to be skeptical about until proven otherwise. So I, I'm going... You know, it's like going to cold, you know, water in a pool. I'm putting, I'm putting my toes in, like, Ooh, trying to get... Get used to the water. I like that analogy. If these trailers continue to fill things in for me and raise my excitement level, then hopefully by the time the movie comes out, I can dive in. They have a lot to prove now, and I'm hoping they're going to do that. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I, I want to put in about this that uh, this Wonder Woman movie is going to. It's going to. It has to have a huge impact on the DCEU, even though it's still early in the stage. Because Wonder Woman brings myth and legend. She brings the world of gods and demigods into the world of mortal man. And that is very important, especially how early on we are in this franchise. So, I mean, as much as it could just be its own awesome film, it could have a huge impact on this universe that they're building. And I really hope it does, because, you know, we so far we've had a ton of alien stuff, but now we're getting a lot of fantasy, magic, and sorcery, and all that junk. This really could uh, elevate things to a new level. So yeah, uh, I really liked the trailer. I thought it was cool. 
uh, get me excited for Wonder Woman as it should be because I want to be excited for Wonder Woman. She's a fucking awesome character. So are you on the uh, side of the argument of that you're just completely on board with everything? Or are you also kind of like a little skeptical, kind of a little timid about it? Like I, I will not say I'm expecting these to be blockbusters, but if they have finally, finally listened to the fans, I'm ready to give them another shot. I'm ready to give them another shot as long as they're finally listening to people. Which it appears that they are, because they want to make money. So yes, <laughs> but yeah. So I, I'm hopeful that things will get back on track. I want my Justice League. I want my Superman, my Batman, my Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Cyborg, Aquaman, Flash, Martian Manhunter. I want the whole fucking deal. I want it. Green. I want it good. Please, as always, let us know what you're thinking down in the comments. We'd like to hear from anybody who digs on our videos. Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. But until next time, I'm Vincent and I'm Mike, and this has been Review of the, the Nerds. Nerds. Catch you next time. Get, get <laughs>